Kim Kardashian just found herself in another drama, and it's no other than Kanye West and his new wife Bianca Sensori that put her in the middle of it. And the reason for that drama is that Kim is apparently a really bad mother to her children. See, an insider has spilled the beans that Kim is not really involved into the lives of her kids. And instead of growing up with their mom, each of their kids has their own dedicated nanny that is acting as a parent for North, St. Chicago, and Psalm. As you can imagine, as someone who would love to have full custody over the kids and be involved in their lives, Kanye West and Bianca Sensori are absolutely not happy about the fact that Kim is basically completely gone from the daily lives of their kids. After Kanye called her out for that, Kim was absolutely mad about this and she started firing shots back at them. But is Kim really always gone from their children? Is she just using them as a tool to get more attention? What did Kim say to these allegations? And most importantly, what exactly did Kanye West and Bianca Sensori say to expose Kim? This is exactly what we are going to find out in today's video. So make sure to stick around until the end so you don't miss a single juicy detail about this celebrity drama. When looking at the media, Kim Kardashian is always positioning herself as a loving and caring mother who is following their kids on every footstep to make sure they have a great childhood. And on the other side, Kim is also portraying Kanye as the guy that has always gone from his kids and doesn't show any interest in their lives. However, now that a Kardashian insider leaked this very delicate information, it seems that the situation is entirely turned around, with Kanye being the one who is really interested in his kid's life, while Kim is constantly gone. See, to be exact, the insider that was close to the situation said that Kim's level of control over their kids is basically gone, especially now that they are slowly getting teenagers. Apparently, they spent 90% of their time growing up with nannies instead of Kim, which is a huge contrast to the picture she is usually trying to paint in the media. As you can imagine, after this was released, people were shocked and started a wave of hate on social media against Kim, because not only is she not there for her kids even when they need her, but also because she lied to her fans for years by saying that she is a great parent and always saying that she is having such a hard life as a parent because the kids need so much of her attention. For example, in an interview with Jay Shetty, she always repeated how hard good parenting is. One user commented on this entire drama, I raised my kids without a nanny, holding down a full-time job as a supervisor and being on call every night for years. Shut it, Kimmy Cakes. P.S. I had zero millions an amp. Struggled like the rest of the world. Or another one that wrote, She's not a mother, but a woman that gave birth. With all the staff and money at her behest, she should really not open her mouth as it insults all really working mothers and fathers. And a third one wrote, These kids are nothing but accessories and photo ops. And after they grow up, they'll just repeat what they've learned. What makes this situation even worse is that there have even been moms that thought that they have been bad parents because Kim always seemed to be there for their kids. And now it turned out that she lied to them, which makes people even more angry. After an insider leaked this information, as you can imagine, a lot of people asked themselves the question of what Kanye thinks about the entire situation. And even more importantly, if the kids wouldn't be better off living with their dad. And while Kanye was quiet for a while, he and Bianca have now recently spoken up about this entire situation. So let's take a look at what they said. Both of them had pretty much the same opinion on this topic as all the fans. However, Kanye took his concerns even further, and he said that Kim is ruining the kids by spoiling them. He said that his four kids are privileged and he called them out for showing extreme luxury at that young age, a lack of discipline and never having to do household chores. He then talked about the way that he grew up, and despite the fact that his mother didn't have a lot of money, he had a great childhood, even without all the luxury. And more importantly, he believes that this taught him a lot of values that he would have never learned otherwise. On the other side, he believes that all the flaws his kids have come from the fact that they are only following materialistic things and that always getting what they want will never make them happy because they'll always want more, instead of being happy with what they have. He and Bianca also said that the debate of the upbringing of their kids only got worse after their divorce because Kanye lost his entire influence on the kids and therefore Kim can basically do whatever she wants with them. However, one of their biggest concerns of Kanye and Bianca was that Kim was potentially grooming them to become the next generation of Kardashian-style influencers, and that they were therefore getting excessively spoiled. And while a lot of fans agree with Kanye now, and with all the other things he said, which I'm going to tell you in a second, looking back at their divorce and when he voiced these concerns publicly, he faced a lot of backlash by fans, and he was accused that he is harassing Kim and that he attempts to destroy her reputation. However, as it now turned out, all of Kanye's concerns were real, and he wasn't just saying that to make Kim look bad. 
The insider that spilled the beans on that one also exposed that Kim is actively giving all of the hard tasks of parenting to the nannies and fans. We're shocked about this. And Kanye also already exposed Kim's reliance on nannies in his song, Easy with the Game. In the lyrics, he is singing, I got love for the nannies, but real family is better. The cameras watch the kids. Y'all stop taking the credit. Non-custodial dad, I bought the house next door. What you think the point of really being rich for? When you give them everything, they only want more. Fuji and unruly, y'all need to do some chores. In there, he is basically saying everything you need to know about the way how Kim is raising the kids, and the most important part is where he rapped about nannies taking on the role of raising the kids, while Kim is getting all the credits for their efforts. As you can also imagine, Kim didn't let this sit on her, and she started explaining that all of Kanye's allegations are wrong, and she told an interviewer that she single-handedly manages all aspects of her kids' lives, from getting them ready for school to preparing their meals. It didn't take long until Kim got exposed for this, and it turned out that this was just another lie. On Instagram, Kim made a picture of herself preparing traditional Armenian pancakes, trying to implicate that she cooked them. However, later on, Chicago accidentally exposed Kim on Mother's Day. As a gift, they were asked to fill out a questionnaire, with one of the questions being, the best thing Kim cooks is, and Chicago filled in. Mom doesn't cook, she has a chef. The next lie that was debunked was when Kim tried to explain that she doesn't spoil the kids. However, the insider said that Kim pays their nannies $100,000 per year to take care of the kids and that they are getting all the gifts they want. The insider said, if one of them is interested in space, she'll take them to the NASA headquarters. And this has been seen over and over again, when North, for example, was taken to front row Lakers games because she is interested in basketball or her son, Saint, who was taken all across the world to watch football games because he is interested in football. However, in the same revelation, the insider also tried to defend Kim by saying that she has a lot of work on her plate, and therefore she needs those nannies to keep providing for her kids and all of the cool stuff that they are getting. He then further said that Kim is sometimes working of up to 16 hours a day. However, this explanation didn't make it any better. And fans, Kanye and Bianca argued that Kim could simply decide to work less and dedicate more time to her children, because let's face it, Kim has more money than she could ever spend. What is even worse about the situation that fans have observed in the new episodes of The Kardashians is that Kim has absolutely no authority over their kids, and that the kids don't have a strong attachment to their own mother. Ever since that insider exposed Kim for that, Kanye started saying over and over again that Kim is bad for their kids, as she never spends a lot of time with them. This leads fans to the question if Kim Kardashian really should have full custody over the children, or if the kids wouldn't be better off with Kanye, as he would be able to provide way better for them. I mean, despite Kanye traveling a lot, many fans are sure that he would be able to build a way stronger bond with them as he could help them in their daily lives and simply decide to travel less. And after most of his business deals were canceled, it seems that he also has way more free time than Kim. But I'm interested in hearing your opinion on this entire topic. Do you think the kids would be better off with Kanye and Bianca? Or do you think that they are doing well with Kim and that they need to be with their mother even though she is never there? Let me know down in the comments and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel to never miss another celebrity drama. With that being said, thanks for watching and until next time.